Hi everyone, thanks for joining me today. We are going to make a preemie hat. So grab your loom and your yarn and tools and let's get started. We're going to start by making a slip knot and I am using double strands for my hat. So it is a number four and I'm using double strands. So we're going to start by making a slip knot and placing it on the first peg here. And on this loom, it's the white peg. That's going to be our peg one. Then we're going to cast on. We are doing the E-wrap cast on. The E-wrap cast on is making tiny little E's by just wrapping the yarn around the peg and going all the way around the loom. We will meet up at peg one. As you go, push your stitches down to the bottom of the peg. I'm going slow so you can see what I'm doing, but feel free to go at your own pace. I'm just wrapping each individual peg. So we're almost back to where we started from. If you see, there's your white peg. So you're going to start and do the same thing on top of the peg. So we're making tiny little E's and we're going to do this the entire way around the loom. Okay, we're finishing up the second row. And now we're going to secure the working yarn and take the bottom stitch and, play, and put it over the top. So we're knitting over, taking the bottom over the top. And we're going to do this on each peg. I am working slower than I normally would work if I was just knitting on the couch. And I'm doing that to try to help beginners and show them every step that I possibly can. You don't have to work this slow, you work at your own pace. Just keep taking the bottom stitch over the top. And again, this is called knitting over. We are doing our cast on. We are almost done. Okay, we are done. We have done our cast on. Push your stitches down to the middle, not all the way. Now we're going to start the purl stitch. So we're going to take our working yarn, pull it through the stitch on the peg, take it off the peg, put the loop onto the peg, and tighten. Again, this is called the purl stitch, and we will be doing this the whole way around the loom. Sometimes the stitch has a little trouble coming off the peg. If that happens, just use your loom tool and it should pop right off. The working yarn is below the stitch on the peg Pull it up through the stitch on the peg, take it off, and then place that loop back onto the peg and tighten. Continue doing this all the way around the loom. Keep doing the purl stitch. And we will work to the end here. We're almost to the end.
So we're about done with our purl stitch. We have one more after this. And now we're going to do an e-wrap stitch. So we're going to just like our cast on, make little E's around the loom on each peg. And then we're going to take the bottom and place it over the top. And again, we're going to do this all the entire way around the loom. Just out of curiosity, I'm curious on what you call your loom tool. Do you call it a hook? Do you call it a yarn tool? I've heard it many things. So I want to know what you like to call your tool. Is it just a tool? What do you refer to it as? A hook? Let me know in the comments, please. So just work your way around. And I will meet you back. We're almost done here. We're going to do, we're going to make three rows of knit and purl. So knit and purl is considered one row. So we're going to do this three times. I highly advise to use pen and paper or if you have a stitch counter to do that to keep track of your rows. But you'll want to do one knit, one purl, three times. And those are together. So knit and purl are considered one, three times. Okay, we've done that. And this is from the brim of our hat. So we're going to snip that off and now we're going to change the color to pink. So we're going to attach our pink yarn. And again, I am using double strands. So I'm pulling out the yarn from the middle of the skein and then there's a piece of the yarn from the top of the skein and just placing those two together and now I am making a slip knot and I'm just going to attach it here, not to the white peg, but to the peg before. And I'm going to tighten it and now I'm going to tie a knot to the pink yarn. So again, I'm attaching my pink yarn to the gray yarn onto the peg, making a knot. I'm tightening it. And this is how I am changing my color. So that little loop is going to come out here. See, it's that's the working yarn, that loop that you kind of see. Um, that's not going to show. Plus, it's going to be on the inside of the hat, but um, just tighten that up. And again, I'm going to do it again just to secure it a little bit more. Tuck the tails in just to get them out of your way. Put them through the middle of the of the loom. Just get them out of the way. And now we are going to start working again and we're going to do the e-wrap. We're going to do the e-wrap stitch on each one of the pegs. It 
It does help to push the bottom stitches down so you have room for the top. So from here, it's going to be very simple and it's gonna go really fast. Like you can get this done probably in a half hour. So now we are going to take those two bottom stitches, the gray and the pink. I take the pink over first and then the gray and it's okay if you do it one at a time. And then I'm just going to go around the loom and take the bottom over the top again. So we are knitting over and we are going to continue doing this. So I will meet you back once you get to your starter peg. Okay, we're on our last stitch. We're going to push this down. Just push all the stitches down to the bottom of the loom. And now we're going to take our working yarn again. We'll be doing another row of the E-wrap stitch. Now we're going to take the bottom over the top and we're going to knit over again. We're going to do a total of 19 rows of the E-wrap stitch for this hat. So continue doing this for 19 rows. Okay, we've done our 19 rows and now we are going to cast off. So I'm going to wrap my working yarn around the loom about one and a half times and give the yarn a snip. Then I'm going to take the yarn that I just cut and put it below the stitch on the peg, almost like a purl stitch, draw it up and pull it out and move on to the next one. So again, I'm gonna insert my hook through the stitch and pull that yarn up and out. This is our cast off. So now we're going to go around the loom and the ones that you've already drawn up, you can pop off the peg with your hook So each one, each peg, just work it through the loop on the peg. When it starts to get a little tight is when you'll want to you'll want to pop them off the peg. Work your way around the loom doing this method of pulling your yarn up through the peg and then after a few pop them off of the peg until you have one more one left and I will meet you back here with one left on the peg okay so we've popped them all off and now we're just gonna slip this off so now our hat is off of the loom and now we're going to take that string and pull So go ahead and turn your hat inside out and pull on that piece of yarn and tighten it. And I'm going to 
to do another knot to secure it again. And pull on it and just give it a snip. Now you will want to leave five or six inches to give you enough room to sew the loose end in. So you want to make sure that this is at least five or six inches and take your darning needle and go around the top because we want to secure that hole. So just go around the top in like a circle and make sure you're pulling and securing the yarn to tighten that hole and to secure it. And I just go around, I go through the middle and just make sure that the hole is closed and the surround is secure. I just like giving a close up look of how I sew my loose ends into the project. And that's gonna do it for our Loom Knit Preemie Baby Hat. I hope you've enjoyed this video. If you have, please give me a thumbs up. And if you would, consider subscribing for more videos like this. Thanks for watching, and I will see you at the next video. Bye!